Welcome into Drew's Daily Diamonds for Friday, September 27th, 2024. I am Drew Martin breaking down the slate of games. We got two college football games, two MLB games coming your way for Friday night lights action. Guys, let me know in the comments below what your MLB college football picks are for tonight. NFL for this weekend, all is welcome. It helps out the algorithm in the comments below. I'll be in there chiming in as well. If you're liking the content, please smash that like button as we got first game up. 7.30 Eastern, 4.30 Pacific on ESPN. It's Virginia Tech and Miami, an ACC battle here. 54 being the total. The Canes, minus 17.5 point home favorites, Hard Rock Stadium, Miami Gardens. Virginia Tech comes in 2-2 two and two on the season. Both of their losses come in as the favorite. They lost to Vanderbilt and Rutgers. The Rutgers game just last week, they allowed over 400 yards to the Scarlet Light, to the Scarlet Knights. Now they have a short week with travel to play Miami, who this is one of the best offenses in the country. I mean, number three, literally in the country in yards per play margin, meaning they're gaining more than their opponents. They got Cam Ward at the quarterback position, 14 touchdown passes this year. That's number one in the country. The Miami team is averaging over 600 yards per game. They're 4-0 straight up, 4-0 against the spread. They've scored 41 plus points in every game this season. That's 209 points in four games. I mean, 17 and a half, I don't love this number by any means, but I'm not stepping in front of the U by, I mean, it's Miami or pass guys in this game. I could see Virginia Tech kind of hanging in there. I could see him getting blown out right from the start, but I do think Miami in the second half runs away with it a la last week against USF. They went on the road and looked dominant in the second half. So I think Miami, hey, you need something ESPN here, Friday Night Lights. It's the Canes over the Hokies. Next one up, 30 minutes later on Fox. So two nationally televised college football games for Friday Night Lights. Two Power Four conference opponents going off at each other. It's Washington and Rutgers in our quote-unquote nightcap. 45 the total in Piscataway, New Jersey. Rutgers, I'm talking the night before, guys, Thursday night here. Anywhere from minus one in the hook, minus two to minus two and a half. So some opinion in the marketplace, depending what sports book you're going off of. All right, so we got a Big Ten matchup here. Washington, their first true road trip of the season. A lot of people think Washington, you know, they lost the Apple Cup to Washington State. That's probably the game. Hey, if you've only seen one of Washington, that's likely the one you saw. That was their worst game, though. So I almost think this is a buy low opportunity on them. They're three and one this season. They've held three of their first four opponents to just single digits. So this defense is playing well. And offensively, I like their quarterback, Will Rogers. He's a transfer from Mississippi State. If you watched him play in the SEC, this guy can throw the rock. He can run it around as well. He's Mississippi State's all-time leading passer. I think Washington is uh, going to be a buy-on team here over the next couple weeks, guys. And I think it starts Friday night. They're up against the Rutgers team that has had trouble stepping up in class. You know, coming over to the Big Ten Conference, they're actually just one in 13, their last 14 against the spread, playing conference opponents over 500. So meaning winning teams in conference, they've really struggled. They get Washington here, who's three and one on the season. And Rutgers, when you look at their schedule, their only win of substance came on over an underwhelming Virginia Tech team. We just talked about them playing Miami. I actually think Washington wins this, guys. I do outright. I mean, anytime in college football you're betting a team catching, you know, less than a field goal, you're betting on them to win the game. That's what we're going to do here. It's the Huskies going on the road cross country and winning this over Rutgers. So we'll put the two and a half in our pocket. Washington plus two and a half over Rutgers. Flipping the script here on the diamond. We got two MLB games I really like. Late night slate here, guys. Texas and the L.A. Angels. It's Jacob DeGrom, the slated starter for the Rangers, making only his third start of the season. He's up against Reed Detmers, the southpaw going for the Halos. Seven in the hook being the total, minus 160. That's the Rangers as the road favorite. DeGrom, only his third start of the year. It's actually only his ninth start of the last two years. A guy that's dealt with... Uh, with, with injuries, of course, uh, he's got the talent, you know, when you watch him pitch. The problem is he just doesn't go deep into games. I mean, what, he went three innings, uh, three and two thirds. So he hasn't gotten out of the fourth inning yet this season. 
obviously on a pitch count of some sort. I don't think he's going to go very deep, and it leads into the Rangers' bullpen, bottom five bullpen over the last three months by, by bullpen whip. Looking at the other side of things, the Angels going with Detmers here, the 25-year-old out of Louisville, back-to-back seven earned run given up in in his last two starts so he has been knocked around this is a guy that i i'd watch out if you're looking to bet the angels here he's given up 16 hits in his last two starts with with degrom not going deep detmer's getting knocked around bullpen question marks i think we get up and over here guys i know degrom is a big name but seven and a hook it's a pitcher's ballpark at night west coast I think both of these lineups still put up crooked numbers. I think there's pitching question marks all over here, guys. I think we get to eight runs. So let's go uh, up and over Rangers and Angels in L.A. Or in Anaheim, I should say. So over seven and a half. Got one game left. Check out Premium Picks, wagertalk.com. 5% max limit up and available in the NFL going on Sunday. Number one at Wager Talk in terms of NFL totals the last year, the last four years. Got one slated here, guys, on Sunday, 5% max limit. Got the Saturday college football card, and, of course, got MLB rolling right along. Final week of the regular season. We got playoffs right around the corner. Drew's Daily Diamond going strong here on the Wager Talk YouTube channel. Appreciate everybody commenting below, smashing that like button. All is welcome. Last game on the card. This is going to be the best bet for the show here, guys. We are heading to the desert for the San Diego Padres Arizona Diamondbacks, Merrill Kelly on the hill for the Diamondbacks, Martin Perez going for the Friars. Total of nine, minus a dollar and a quarter. That's the D-backs as the home favorite. Martin Perez, the southpaw here for the Padres. Two earned runs in his last three starts combined. He has been tough to hit. Back-to-back, two-hit starts. He got traded from the Pirates, so he actually hasn't faced the Diamondbacks. I went back a couple years um, and he hasn't faced this lineup, which seeing him for the first time, I think that's advantage towards the pitcher. So Perez has looked to bet on. He's up against Merrill Kelly here, the 35-year-old out of Arizona State for the Diamondbacks. Nine walks in 10 innings. His last two starts against the Padres, he gave up seven runs. So this Padres lineup, you know, playing in division, has seen him pretty well. He was on a wrong side of a four-walk, three-strikeout performance last time seeing the Padres bats. He's given up 14 hits in his last two home starts. Hey, going up against the Padres, number two lineup in all of baseball against righties. I think the Padres is the side here. We've been talking about him a bunch this week on the show with some success. We did lose on him on Thursday night, but uh, plus 115 here, guys. Risk 100 to win 115. Best bet for the show. It's the Padres over the Diamondbacks late night in Arizona. We got the Rangers and the Halos up and over seven and a hook. Hey, Washington and Rutgers, the Huskies, go on the road to Piscataway and win it. Put the plus two and a half in our pockets with Washington. And we talked about Miami and Virginia Tech. We're on the U, the Canes, minus the wood in that one in Miami Gardens. That's going to do it for Friday night. We'll be back for Saturday and Sunday's show, college football and NFL focus. We'll likely throw in some MLB as well. So come back and join us, guys. Smash that like button, comment below. Thanks for tuning in.